That's why, like, here in Korea, it's like every fight comes down to an auto is because everybody kind of gets it. Welcome. What's your goal of the game, my friend? And this is land, correct? Yeah, this is land. Either high gold or, like, low plat. Um, right now, uh, I don't know very well how high I can get, though. Um, I'm trying to figure out what my mistakes are, because I don't consider myself too bad, but, um, I don't know. I, I want to know what, what I can do. Okay, what do you think your, uh, issues are right now? I would say mainly is consistency. Uh, I don't have that many games played in solo queue this Why not? year. Um, I'd say, uh, well, you know, work, I'm in the military, so it's, like, a little hard right now for me to, like, get a lot of games in. What military? My, my wife and all that stuff. I'm in the Marine Corps. You're in the Marines? Yep. Why are you playing the land server? Sorry. Well, I am from the Dominican Republic, so I actually started playing the game over there. Um, Why not transfer? So when I came in, well, all my friends playing land. And, you can make um, a new account. I could, but um, I don't know. I, I where do you I live right now? I'm, I I I get it. I get it. But where do you live right now? I'm 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 getting to a reason. All right. Um, California. You live in California playing the Lancer. That's fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah, 70, 70, uh, 70 ping. Actually, wait, is it stupid? What's the ping to NA from there? Actually, I don't know. You might actually, you NA, might actually be doing the right thing. NA is like, NA is not, NA is like 60, I think. That's ah, not even that much of a difference. You? It's not even that much of a difference. Yeah. So no matter how much yeah. you, no matter what you do, I, okay, so hear me out. So my logic was, if you're playing right you're playing the game and you're playing on land and your ping's like much higher than na you'd just be dumb to be playing on mm. right you can still play with your friends you just log into the land account right when that you want to play with your friends and then you just play ranked on the other account you say oh, i'm playing ranked here because it's just better ping or whatever um but mm. by the sound of it it sounds like it doesn't really matter that much because uh -huh. you're not really getting much of a gameplay advantage or difference um but if that's true and it's only like 10 ping, don't worry about it then. It's not gonna, you're not gonna notice it that much. Um, Alrighty. So <clears throat> now I got that out of the way. So we're playing Fizz. You know, I scan the OP.GGs oh, yeah. on all these. Um, and then I'm going to probably, let me log in here. I'm gonna look at your actual laning and we'll talk through like maybe a recent loss or two. Um, but right yeah. off the jump, just like me scanning these OP.GGs and looking at them, mm -hmm. I feel like right away, I mean, the biggest thing is that, yeah, you just got to play, dude. Um, you know, you spend a lot of time um, playing normals and shit <clears throat> and wasting time when you should just be putting in reps on ranked for now anyways. Um, okay. You don't have to be crazy and put as many reps in as I do or anything or like streamers do, but you got you to gotta play more than this or you're never going to hit this goal. Like if the goal is to get plat, why do you want to get plat though? Like what, do you want to just brag your friends or like what's the... Uh, Well, actually, almost all my friends are like, Higher than plat. Um, no, so you just yeah. want to be able to hang a bit more. I got it. Cool. Yeah. Um, when you play with your friends, are you covering mid for them, or does somebody else mid? I usually play either mid or ADC. Um, okay. I'm main a I'm a uh, main mid when I play like solo queue. But if I'm playing with my friends, I usually play ADC. Okay. Cool. Excellent. So <clears throat> right away, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna peek this. Um, I'm gonna peek this fizz game, uh, and then. We'll go from there. Let me know when you see the screen. One second. Alrighty. <laughs> so a lot of red there. <laughs> it's okay. That was just uh some of it was flex, anyways, gives a shit. But either way, okay. like when you're learning, there's gonna be a lot of red. That's just how it is. Mm. Uh you just kind of have to embrace that. Oh, this is land. That's right. Give me a moment. Yeah. So, uh, Nice, so I've been actually playing the, the game for a little while by now. Um, I picked gold two, I think. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure. And uh, from there, it's just been downhill. Um, I don't know. Uh, like, I'm, you know, this is going to sound very cliche, but like, honestly, I don't know if it's the players here on land, but like, they are, they're not all that great. And I feel like I'm having a lot of like bad luck either with them or I just don't know how to carry. Because they tend to get fed a lot and I just still lose. Okay. Hold on a second. I'm trying to... Land players are worse, for sure. Uh, give me a moment, though. Because I'm trying to figure out... Because I didn't expect the land, sorry. I had, a, I had a lot of coachings today, so I'm trying to... Yeah, it's all good, man. Okay, land replays. I do have something for that, so hopefully it works. You played in, in land before? Yes, I played the challenger on land. 
uh, years ago. I've done it twice. One time I got up to like rank 30 something on this server. Um, it was a while ago. And eventually the count got banned. Because... Hold on a second. It was like too many games, too fast. No, like uh, the riot, the riot community and on LAN, I guess, are pretty close knit. And uh, there's a streamer. I kept beating him. He was a rank one guy. His name was like Dan Jerem. It was a master Yi player. And every time I, I would I, beat him, he was rank one. And every time I beat him, he would go and report me because he knew I was an NA. I don't know why he was doing that. He was just mad, I guess. But uh, That's eventually, like yeah, I mean, it was pretty obvious I didn't level the account or anything. I just grabbed one. I just like bought one and I guess he just uh, kept reporting oh. it. And then they eventually were just like, all right, fuck you. And they just like timed it out or whatever. And they, they do a thing where they like lock the account mm. and they're like, you know, uh, you got to prove, is. you got to prove that you, you own it. Right. And you can't, you obviously can't prove it. So they just keep the account locked. Um, it was when I first got my Facebook deal, actually. I was first put over here. Oh, wow. And, uh, yeah, it was kind of annoying. But anyways, the server by and large is like, I don't know, division or two lower oh, than any. I remember this game. Yeah. Uh, that we'll was actually, I'm pretty sure that ribbon was a, a smurf, actually. Let's she see. was like flat with like level 30 or something. Mm, so right away, uh, looking at the runes. Yeah, it's a pretty tough lane for Fizz. Um, both lanes are pretty tough. So let's see what you do with it. Yeah, I got shit on here. How did we... How did this lane get this way? Um, She kept surprising me with a stun. I, I never played this lane before. And uh, yeah, I just... She just ended up beating me. <clears throat> so when you see a lane like this, uh, what's going through your head? What's the jump? So, I played Raven before, and I know that her level 1 is pretty strong, but Fizz level 1 can surprise a lot of melee champions. So, I actually didn't know which one could win a, a level 1 fight. So, I was well, let's, gonna... Let's break, down, let's break it down Barney style why you're always going to lose this first Riven, okay? Um, mm -hmm. Basically, because Riven Q enables an auto between each Q. Right. So, because of that, because of each auto between the Q... You're like mega get like basically any champion versus Riven early is probably gonna just get fucking owned. Okay, so always keep that in your head. Now for the actual question that I was getting at though is I mean it's good that you you want to know like who we you know who wins level one, but mm -hmm. what I'm looking at is why on earth we would ever push this wave forward in this lane. It's very shitty for Fizz, and that's like the first red flag that I see when I coach a Fizz player. You know, I get that you want to try to snowball. I understand that, but this isn't the lane to do it. And this isn't the champion to do it. And then also, generally speaking, Fizz gets value when? What level? Level six, level three. Level six, level three. Good answer, because that's what I was looking for. So when you go into the lane and you hit that fucking minion, I get heated. Right. Because I am like, why in the hell would we ever push this lane? I was like, <laughs> okay. because what's going to happen is she's going to, She's going to win every trade versus you, and the wave's going to push, and then you're going to get stuck in a sticky spot up here, and she's mm. got you beat in long lane because she can just dash like 80,000 times, right? And you can, yeah, you have your E and you have your Q, and that's really annoying and tough to catch, but Riven's one of those champions might catch you for that. Um, I, I actually remember um, on this on this lane, now that you said that, I, I actually got starred from minions because of right. that, what you're saying. Right. So what we, you know, it's really, really important. Like, I think it's cool that you went for this E trade. You know, it's like you said, the E trade was pretty solid and you, you kind of went out on it. But these random autos are just killing your lane. Um, because what's going to happen is, look, now the wave moves. Mm -hmm. And it's awkward as shit. She's surprising with that, that stun there. I'm, I just die. Well, I didn't I, die here. I you didn't die yet. Oh, you floated it somehow, some way. <laughs> And then the, the Yi goes in there. I don't know why, though. I'm not sure why. So, whoa, 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 whoa. Watch what you do to the minions here. You want to aim for just last hits. And now you want to, like, let the minions connect. So watch here. The wave's going to meet. 
And honestly, I would straight line, like run at Riven, like in a straight line, like just kind of wiggle at her and see if she tries to blow gap closers onto you. Because you still okay. have, you still have Ignite and you're about to, well, ideally, <clears throat> you're about to just be able at three to find a kill, like an easy kill. I think that's what I was hoping for back then, but um, I, I did not go to her. I was kind of oh, hoping, oh yeah, I did. Oh, Jesus Christ. I hate that E. But she hit level three first. Right, she never E first, right? Right, very dangerous. I think I got impatient. Okay, okay. Wait, where did our Q go? Did you uh, waste hers? it? Mine? Yeah, Mine. hold on, let me see. I think, I don't know. <laughs> Actually, I can't remember. No, I hit her, yeah. Oh yeah, I hate this. Let me see what you're doing. Let's talk about the melee details here. Okay, so this... Alright, I have problems with this. Everything's ugly here. Okay. First of all... You have Ignite lead. She has nothing. Okay? You have an Ignite still behind. Which means, in an all-in burst trade, you're very, very happy. You know that Fizz 3 is a power spike. Riven's chunked out, has no flash. What you're doing here is you're QWing in, which is really ugly to me, because first of all, she can always she can stun it like she did here. But you pretty much have to accept that like you're going to trade damage. Like there's gonna be some damage here in this situation. Like that's just gonna happen. The problem is you don't maximize your damage output and you make it messy. And the reason why I say you make it messy is because instead of just calmly walking up and doing like an auto W to start the trade off, you like you in, which makes it harder for you to auto. But I would much rather you just auto W and then you could play out the trade and then you let go of the trade and let her run away because you basically wasted your Q. Right. So it's just like the uh, order is a little wonky. It's like you don't realize you're not seeing that you're ahead. It's like you're playing it really scared, but you're like miles ahead here. If you just calmly walk in right. and auto W and play your ignite out, you should be a okay as long as you E at a reasonable time, which you kind of already did, right? Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, but you and, played, and that it, you played it flaccid. Like for lack of a better term that, that kind of plays into the fact that i oh, like i don't really know this lane that like what you're saying makes sense and that's right. obviously what i should have done but um that's I, so you know, close I, yeah yeah that was tough like if i were to know this lane a little more like i, I would have probably done what you said but uh, i don't know i didn't think about it well just get it in your head listen you're not going to know every lane but you need to get yeah. it in your head that when you're facing melees you need to auto w them more instead of this q shit okay you need to auto W them because you're allowed to do that. Right? You'll still have your Q to get distance. You'll still have your E. Like, you'll still have those. But you need to auto W because as you can see, it comes down to that one auto attack. Which at any point, if you'd land an auto W on any of these trades, you would have won. Yep. See what I mean? Yeah. It makes, makes it's sense. more important in lanes like these... When they trade with you, you maximize your trade. You optimize the trade. Now, I'll, give, I'll grant you this. Riven should beat your ass early. And so should any of the melees. They should be able to beat you. <clears throat> so it's on, the onus is on you to kind of outplay them. I will, I will give you your props. Back here, you technically did outplay her, um, believe it or not. This doesn't seem like you outplay her, but you do. Yes, the wave management is shit here. But when she goes all in, player, but you do. watch this. Do you have my stream on the background? Make sure you mute it. <laughs> yeah, I just muted it. Okay. This right here, look. You're about to flash. Or he's about to flash. This is technically an outplay. Why is it an outplay? Well, it's a misplay on her part. Why is it a misplay on her part? Because you won that trade. Despite her being level 2, level 1, she fucks up. You won that trade, and you're going to be able to find it all in now. That's how you need to think about this. Okay. Like... Yeah, you were in a shit spot to, to be almost all in. I get that. But the fact is, you've kind of flipped the lane with this. When she wastes her ignite and doesn't get the kill, that's really, really bad for her because that means the wave's going to get hung up here and now you can set up your play. Right? Okay. 
Um, so that's kind of this this matchup or any melee matchups in general. It just boils down to like, do they all in you at the correct time or not? You're not going to be able to bully melees, many of them, as Fizz. That's kind of the gimmick with Fizz. You don't get to do that. Um, you get to beat right. mages. You beat the shit out of mages. But melee oh, yeah. champions, it's a little tougher uh, because they got you beat in, in traits and they're a bit tankier. So generally speaking, you're not going to be able to do your fizz shit where you just like burst them down and go about your day. So now that we know that, let's make sure that when we do these it. trades, we optimize the trades out so that we hit the auto W every time. The reason why you don't feel comfortable auto Wing is because you're a fizz player, and no offense, most fizz players suck at fucking melee traits. They <laughs> suck because they get comfortable spamming E and spamming QW like you've been doing here. Yeah, ulti. Right. You you in your head, you're like, well, I'm going to kill them anyways. Like, with a lot of the mages, you will. But melee champions, players that made melee champions that are actually, like, fighting, like, top laners and shit, that's why they normally win out on these types of lanes, because they understand that they have to land, like, optimal damage. Like, it's optimized. It's not, like, bursted. You've got to get each auto in. Right? So, Ribbon right. player generally... Let's see what she did when she tried to all-in you, actually. As so you can tell, if somebody's good if they get autos in. In between so let's see he did not auto before q and i think that's why she missed the kill actually yeah. do you watch it again she get any. you're gonna see it when she flashes on you i don't think an auto goes through yeah she, she was trying no... to but then yes she right so the reason i show you this is to show you that it can go both ways um, you know, everybody misses like auto attack resets from time to time, but you can see the difference maker on both of these all ins was auto attack resets on both ends, right? Okay. So really emphasize it. And then there's a simple way to practice this. You could literally go into practice cool practice tool and literally just smack dummies like auto W auto W like just get into the habit of it and just kind of see it. I mean, obviously with minions, you have to do it a lot. Um, but just in general, like when it's melee versus melee, don't leave that damage on the table because that's so why I tell everybody that fucking all in trade is literally decided by an auto attack. Right. And I can, I can see that. I can see that there. That's why like here in Korea, it's like every fight comes down to a fucking auto is because everybody kind of gets 